Hey guys, happy Wednesday, July 3rd. Um, hope you guys have had an amazing day. I am just leaving work for today. And unfortunately, <clears throat> I'll be back here tomorrow. So while everybody else is home putting the meat on the Barbie, I'll be at work. But you know what? You gotta do what you gotta do. It's okay. I can always have a little bit of barbecue when I get home, so um, there's always that. I'm grateful to be employed. So many people aren't, so just trying to make honey some lemonade out of some lemons. <laughs> Truth be told. But nevertheless, what are you guys doing to celebrate on tomorrow? Are you guys off for the rest of the week? Just off tomorrow? What y'all doing? Because honey, it's a regular, a regular a regular old push your teeth for me tomorrow. So, one thing, good, one good thing about it though, I don't have to worry about cooking anything. So, I guess all is not lost. Hope I don't have y'all in no bad position. Jesus. Anyway, girls. What's going on with you? How you doing? When I tell y'all, <laughs> when I tell y'all my hip, I don't know why she acting crazy, but I will not. You understand? I will. I will not, honey. I will not be defeated. I will not. I'm, I'm going on vacation next month, and honey, we're gonna drag the sister right on along. That's what we're gonna do. Because I do not have time to have no surgery right about now. So, I'm just praying God that it's just, um, you're getting on your side of the road. I'm just praying that it's just aggravated and it's just a little bit of arthritis as opposed to needing freaking hip replacement. Because, honey, I had that done in 2021. And it was not, their recovery was, <laughs> that was, that was not, that was, that was not nice, honey. It was so disrespectful. And I was limping like John Wayne, honey. Walking like a cowboy with a broke hip and a bad horse. And toting everything on my back. <laughs> that, when I tell you that was an ugly time, honey, pathetic, pitiful, painful, and ugly. All of those things. All of the adjectives. All of them. But to God be the glory. If I have to have it done, I have to have it done. But it will not be until after vacation, I tell you that. I won't be frolicking on the beach, honey. I'll be limping on the beach. But nevertheless, we're going to make it do what it do. Y'all know what? I'm going to cut this camera off because I feel like cracking today. And y'all might not be ready for all of that. So with that being said, I'm going to get off this camera. And I'm going to drive myself home because I feel cracky today. I feel like, I just feel cracky. So, I'll talk to y'all when I get home. That, that's all I'm going to say about that. Happy Saturday, people. It is Saturday, August. No, Saturday, July 6th. Yeah, so hope you guys had an amazing 4th. I had to work, but I still had an amazing 4th. Um, came home, my husband had grill, grilled out, so we had a nice quiet 4th. So hope you guys did the same. Um, today is Saturday. Oh. What y'all know about this? What y'all know about the anointing oil? Honey, when I tell y'all what this hip been acting up, it's greasy this morning. Just know that. This left hip, honey, she is anointed with the oil of the anointed oil. We believe in the anointed oil, honey. Greasy around these parts. But anyway, on the agenda for this Saturday, to all of my new subscribers, y'all welcome to the team. Thank y'all so very much for thinking enough of me to hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. So everyone that's new around these parts, girl or guy, thank you so much. 
Welcome to the team, baby, and get ready to ride. That's all I can tell you. Get ready to ride. We're going to have a lot, a lot of fun, a lot of closet chit-chat, a lot of home decor, a lot of wellness, uh, some beauty, maybe, honey, maybe a little bit of fashion. You never know what you might get around here. But all jokes aside, guys, thank you so much. Back on task, what is on the agenda for today? Um, get ready to get my hair edged up. My husband's going to edge me up a little bit. Um... We're going to head out. Um, I want to replace the backsplash in my kitchen because I absolutely hate it. Um, but several years ago, honey, I loved it. That's just how we changed. So I want to change it out. So I, we are going to go and um, look at some more back, backsplash samples today. Um, I need to go to Home Goods to pick up some, um, just look at the decor, see what they have in there. Uh, we're going to stop and get us a cup of yogurt. And then we're going to bring it on back to the house. So I'm going to take you guys along for that. And other than that, that's pretty much it. Don't have much going on this Saturday. It is 11-16. Um, my goal is to be out of here. I need to charge my watch. It's 11-16. My goal is to be out of here and in the streets no later than 12. That's the plan. So let me stop chit-chatting with you guys because if I don't, it will be way after 12 if I don't get off this camera. But I just want to come on and say hello to the say hello to the team, honey. Hope you guys are having an amazing Saturday. And uh, let's get this party started, shall we? Let's pretend this isn't my life. Let's pretend it was a great night. Let's pretend that it was real nice. Uh. Let's pretend that it's a movie. Let's pretend that it's a story. Let's pretend that it was glory. Uh. Cause that's where I do my best work. That's where I see my real work. And fiction, you just can't get hurt. In the imaginary world. That's where I do my best work That's where I put myself first In fiction you just can't get hurt In the imaginary world In the imagine, in the imagine, in the imaginary Can you imagine, can you imagine, can you imagine for me? In the imagine, in the imagine, in the imaginary Can you imagine, can you imagine, can you imagine for me? Started out hopeless, start touching road, now I'm over focused. Now my flow the coldest, I mean that sh then I ain't just trolling. Pocket full of green, ain't got enough, I ain't got enough. Need that baby money till my niggas lifting bottles up. I'm like, welcome to the good life. I came from top rhyming where it's banging if it's cooked right. Adding hot dogs and sardines, looking back, it was all green. And I'm finna seize the day, I'm feeling like Carl Dean. This new whip, I got a rocket, I'm looking like Hawking. Elijah want me, I wonder what y'all seen. Me, myself, and I, self efficient, I'm too extreme. Took the road, let's travel, them lights, it's all green. Hold up. Oh, 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 oh. 
Been calling me the big homie in the land of snakes. I'm like Moses with this stick on me. I'm the chosen one, mother. Don't forget, homie. Love dropping these songs weekly. Money coming in ain't from the streets. This clean squeaky. Working at the hours hella hard, so you can't reach me. 50 songs in, now this getting hella easy. Hella easy. And I put that on me, feel like yellow beezy. Fuck up the game, now my bank account hella sleazy. And I'm on you n***s head like I'm selling beanies with the wise guys and good fellas like I'm Scorsese. Scorsese, Scorsese. I don't know. Yeah. Hello guys, today is Sunday, July 7th, and, <clears throat> excuse me, hope you guys are having a great day. I just want to really jump on really quick and share with you uh, the things that I picked up on yesterday when my husband and I were out, um, and just share with you guys those things. So girl, let me just jump right into it. I want to change out my kitchen backsplash because I absolutely hate it. I don't know what I was thinking when I picked this backsplash out. Um, it just no longer serves the purpose in here. I feel like I just don't like it. I think it's too busy for the granite countertops that we have. And I want to probably next year or within the next year or two, I want to change these out. Um, but in the meantime, I want to change our backsplash to something that's more basic. I'm going to show you the samples that I'm looking at. Um, we went to Lowe's to pick up these samples yesterday. Uh, I'm not looking to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to have the backsplash replaced. I just want to get something basic, something that's contemporary, something that's classic, it's going to last a, lo a long time because I know within the next two years we will get our um, countertops replaced. I would like something like a marble so the backsplash that I'm picking now will be something that we can easily match up, pair with whatever marble countertops or, or countertop surface I decide to pick in the next year or two. So that's what we're doing now. But honey, this 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 busy uh, this busy stuff we got going on in here, honey, it has to go. So I'm going to show you. Well, you can see it. Let's see, you guys can kind of see it back there. Let me try to bring the camera in. That's what it's currently giving. It's busy. If you can see it back there. I hate that. I hate it. Zoom the camera around. See that? I think the countertops that we have, it's just busy. The countertop is busy and the backsplash is busy. And that's a normal for me. So, um, we're going to change this out and I'm going to show you the samples that I'm looking at. I want something again classic and contemporary that, oh honey, backs up. There we go. Uh, something that's classic and contemporary and that's going to be easily interchangeable with whatever kind of top surface that we do decide to pick going forward. So, okay, these, I don't know if you guys can tell here, but these have like a texture to them. They, they kind of go, they're concave, they go in and out. So I don't know if I want to do these, so they would be something basic. I don't want to know, I don't know if I want to use these. Now you can kind of see it. See it's kind of textured. They go in, they dip in and out. So it's between this. Now, this is like a count this is like a um this is what i would like let me i'm going to drop the camera down so you can see a better look at the countertops that we have now and i'm going to show you what vision that i have so hold on one moment let me adjust the camera okay yeah so this is a better view okay guys so this is what i want to or 
go to so far as like my next countertop surface. So this would be in replace of this current, what we have now, something like this. And these are the two that I just showed you. So you see how that will look? It's just like plain, right? So this is a, a possibility for backsplash. And this is how it looks against what we have now. So even if it's, you know, I guess, like I said, it's going to be a year or two before we replace the current countertops. See how nice because it pulls the cream that's in there. So this looks nice. It doesn't look busy. It doesn't compete with the backsplash. It's, um, it's just cohesive. It looks nice together, right? So this is the option. Now, I also like the subway tiles as well and again these are textured i don't know if you can see that in there it's, it's textured like it goes in and out like the square ones and um i, I kind of like the subway tile too look so again it looks very nice against the current countertops that we have now the granite countertops that we have now so, I, so this is a possibility. This is a possibility. And these would be just, you know, stacked like this. Right? Very clean, very, very plain, never basic, honey. Clean, classic, never basic. And then the pulls, my cabinets are the, the, the Espresso Brown, and then we have Gold Hardware on the cabinets. So, um, that's what we currently have going on. Now, my husband picked this, and I, I'm, not, I'm not mad at it. First, I'm thinking no, but the more I look at it, I'm not mad. I'm not mad with it. I'm not mad about it. I wouldn't lay it this way. I wouldn't lay it this way. I would want it laid this way. And I think this looks really good. Oh, you can't see it. I think this looks really good. So these are my choices. They're going to come and measure on Tuesday. Uh, and then based on that, we'll book the appointment and they get it done. Shouldn't take them that long to do, but I just need to make sure I pick the right selection. Um, something that I'm going to like, something that I'm going to be able to keep when we do change the countertops so i need to make sure i make the right the right right selection so yeah guys that's what we're looking at this would be the countertop if we when we replace i don't know I, i'll see i'll look at it i'm going to try to tape this up on the wall some type of way and and just look at it for a couple of days and see which one i like but yeah, that's what we're looking at. So that's what we're doing so far as um, home and um, kitchen updates. So I'll keep you guys um, updated with that um, as we move forward with um, with those with those um, changes. So that's what we have going on. I'm going to adjust the camera back to the right way so I can see you guys. Okay, so yeah, so that's what we're looking um, looking at as far as changing our backsplash in the kitchen. Let me know what you guys think. If you like the square ones, the subway, or the vertical ones, uh, with the vertical pattern on it. Let me know what you guys think. I would love to hear that down in the comments. So again, we don't have too much going on today, guys. Um, it's just an easy Sunday, getting ready to get myself ready for work, um, pick out um, my outfits, my clothes for next week, get everything ironed, um, write in my journal a little bit, um, and just really chill out, spend some time with my husband today, um, But so we're not doing much today. Um, last night, what did we do? Oh, we had, um, we had dinner and just a quiet night at home, not much going on, so hope you guys are having a great Sunday. I just wanted to jump on here really quick and um, show you that.
and also I have a couple of things coming in the mail well coming in uh, packages coming in so when those come in I will share those with you guys you know that um, also speaking of kitchen Renault's I have been on the hunt for a not on the hunt but researching I should say some toasters so I was looking at the smeg toaster but I did research on it and I'm not really sure for the amount of use that we use our toaster because we do have a toaster oven that we pull out from time to time and put on the counter um, when we're cooking breakfast like for the for all of us which is I, my family is small I was just me and my husband and we have two daughters but one is uh, an adult and she's out of the house um, and then my daughter's here for um, college break so um, she doesn't eat a lot but when we do cook for family breakfast uh, we pull that out and uh, we use that so I wanted a toaster that we could use every morning sometimes my husband takes um, bagels for breakfast and I like the English muffins from time to time so I wanted a small countertop toaster so I was researching the Smeg toasters and I really cannot justify paying $245 for a toaster I think that's for the four slot on the two slot I think maybe it's two or 200 um based on the reviews now would mind paying i mean i'm not against paying that for it if it's worth it but the reviews were mixed so i was looking at that i also researched the drew barrymore the beautiful um toaster in the black on the website because it had very very good reviews the only thing i'm gonna tell y'all why i didn't order that one is because the the b that the db her logo on the front i don't know why it just threw me off I, I i don't i wish it was somewhere else i just that just threw me off um so i end up selecting the y'all know the cafe appliances I, listen the cafe appliances i want those appliances because you know you can pick whatever color you want you can pick the pools the arm pools for the doors um i didn't know they made small appliances but during my research i found out that they did so guess what i got i ordered the cafe toaster now it's originally i think 169 however i found it on sale and they had it for 99 so i ended up ordering that 99 and then i had a coupon uh, like for $15 off so I ended up getting it for like for $89 or something like that so I ordered that one when that comes in I will show you guys that one I was very pleased with it it comes in a lot of colorways it has awesome reviews and it's just a toaster so I want to change out this is my coffee station area back here I want to change out this Keurig possibly change this out to something that's black so I'm gonna have that here I have two listen if you own an espresso I'm just gonna say my frother anyway yours may not be that the frother that comes with it it just doesn't make thick um foam i mean it's okay but it's not thick but this one back here i don't know if y'all can reach out to somebody zoom the camera in that one back there by those coffee pods that is one by um instapot my mom gave that to me my mom got that for me because she had one and i raved about it so she ordered me one when I tell you guys that this thing makes the thickest cafe style coffee foam you ever want to put in your cup of coffee or on your hot chocolate, it hits. It, it'll make it cold. It'll make it hot. It'll, but it's thick and it's creamy. I use it pretty much every morning whenever I have coffee. So that's why I have those two out there. And the espresso one is okay, but honey... The Instant Pot one, honey, she hits, honey. She foams up. She thick. She understood the assignment. She does what she's supposed to do, honey. She works overtime in her little 30-second work job every morning. That's a winner. So the Instant Pot, I will link it in my description box below. The Instant Pot frother is going to run you about $40, $40 maybe. You may be able to find it on sale. Honey, she hits. She works good. She's hot and she's steamy. She's foamy. So that's the girl you want if you're into having foam, hot foam on your coffee in the mornings. So all this I want to change out uh, and just make it really nice when they put the um, new backsplash in. So I want to really set that up really nice because we use this part of the kitchen every day. Every morning, uh, my husband makes his smoothies here or his coffee here and then I get my coffee here every morning. So I want it to be really nice. I want to elevate it a little bit and just, you know, just really, um, you know, zhuzh it up a little bit. So that's what I want to do. So I'm in the hunt of looking for like my stands, my marble stands and stuff like that. So I'm researching and compiling, trying to put me a little vision board together for this space. Because that will be the first space that I um, 
I update once the backsplash is done. So as soon as that toaster gets here, I will share that with you guys. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have going on. Oh, if you did not see my last video, honey, I showcased these and I tell you, these are the hottest, hippest, just, these are a vibe. Honey, these cups are a vibe. You know Walmart, baby. Walmart for the win. I'm never stuck on a name of a place when I buy something. If I like it, I'm buying it. I like things that are different, that are unique, and that are me. When I see something, oh, that's a Natasha thing. That, that's a Nat McRitch thing. That's how I am. I don't buy stuff because the masses like it, because the masses want it. Matter of fact, I don't like something that everybody else has every single thing. Every single thing, everybody has it. I want to do the opposite of that. So these glasses right here are really cute. Uh, it holds just enough, I think 12 ounces, and I love them. I just think they're so, look at that, look at that. Look at the, honey, come on. Come on, Walmart, honey. $17, $17, baby. So, I'm going to jump off the camera. I'm going to find a movie to watch. And uh, that's what I'm gonna do for the rest of the Sunday. When my other deliveries arrive, I will jump back on, share those things with you, and we will progress from there. But girl, I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you are relaxing today because it's Sunday. I hope you are taking care of yourself. I hope you are preparing your mind, your body, and your spirit for the next week and getting ready to you know, position yourself for what is um, to come. Because honey, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world, honey. Stand on business on that, honey. We stand on that. So 